when the people come ashore, the sense of adventure and the stories are second to none. People go out and come back change people. This is man against elements. This is an opportunity to do something which is going to give you a buzz, which you're going to carry with you for probably the rest of your life. This is an endurance test of man. It will be the kind of experience that makes and breaks people. So hopefully it'll make all of us and it won't break too many, but I'd say there'll be a few tears. He got this thing into his head. He wanted to do the Round Ireland. I don't know why, I don't know where it came from. I believe the Round Ireland race is one of the world's great adventures. <laughs> to this day, it is an untold story. We have four tidal gates. We have the, the ravages of the Atlantic Ocean. So you have all the elements of the round the world race in a small compact race around this country. I decided this is the year, I'm going to do it this year. Put it under my belt and see what the adventure is like and live it. This is a serious adventure and you just have to man up, team up, and get all your skills in order or you ain't going, that's it. Kid that nearly all the other races that are in Europe are confined by smaller seas, smaller areas. Whereas the race around Ireland incorporates the Atlantic element, which is rather unique. I believe that it is the most unsold race in the world. There's a variation from the short, choppy seas of the Irish Sea. And there's only about 60 miles for waves to build up between Ireland and Wales and then you go to the Atlantic and the big rollers. And the fact that the predominant winds um, that affect Ireland are the south-westerly winds means that the sails you're using going up along the west coast are the big spinnakers. And it adds a great rush of adrenaline to be able to stick up a kite and lash it down and hang in there for the next 24 hours as you lash up along the Irish coast on the west side of the Atlantic. It's fantastic. I'm a hard taskmaster. No passengers. No passengers. There has to be system. There has to be fitness. There has to be dedication. He has a fascinating twist on it in that he's going to leave some places available for young people who may want to take a, uh, who may want to take part in this challenge. It's a great way to do it to have uh, these free places for other people who may want to join in. He has an incredible talent of pulling people together and pulling the best out of people. The selection process will be rigorous and people will be selected only if I feel that they can come up to the mark. Nothing, I, look, if we're into wind, there's no point in bringing dead weight. Well, I am enthusiastic, <laughs> or I like to think I am anyway, um, and I'm a hard worker, and if I was on that boat, I'd just pull my weight all the time. It's a team event, the weakest link is the problem. I will be on watch before I have to be on watch and I will only go down when the next watch is fine to take over. So there will be a big mix of personalities, like the guys after a few days, tensions running high and things like that. So um, yeah, there can be a few fights, uh, disagreements over like things like tactics and like if you have a lack of sleep, things like that. Yeah. We're going to mount 20 of these on the boat. We're going to see what people are doing at night. Who's asleep? Who's awake? Who's pulling their weight? Who's not pulling their weight? Getting himself in for four days of no sleep, terrible food, being very, very wet constantly. Sail around Ireland, it's, just, it's amazing. It's an absolute adrenaline buzz. It's a fantastic adrenaline buzz. and I've, I've never experienced anything like the... The exhilaration outweighs the toughness. It, it absolutely is magical out there. When things go, go kind of wrong and you can fix things and like spinnakers break and sheets break. You can really get, a, get the whole team behind it, get everything sorted, get everything back up and running and get back going again. And that's when the adrenaline pumps everybody up. It's incredible to see from 70 foot back a wave just in, in golfing about um, seven, eight, 10 tons of water just completely draining the whole boat. There'll, there'll probably be at least 50 boats on the start line, maybe say 20% of those will be professional. So. You know, before any match, before any game, before any race, if you're the underdog, nobody's expecting it from you. You won this thing, like, there's nothing like it. Like, it would be amazing. Have a winner in any of the categories, or even a boat that would achieve Lion honours. You go into the record books, that stands forever. You can always go back and look at it again. It would be fantastic. I'd love to have them there and share the experience with them and share that moment going over the, the finish line. Being a type of experience you only have once and when you have kids and you have grandkids, you can you tell them and be like, one day when I was just a 20 year old amateur, I still told the total professionals and we won. My ambition for 2014 is that I will gather a crew together, 
set off from Wicklow Saving Club and win the Round Ireland race. That is my ambition for 2014. And watch this space. Watch it happen.